G'day everybody, Chris Jelly here. Someone's just pointed out to me I've made a few factual inaccuracies in the statements that I've made. This time it's coming from David Vincent, the CEO of the IMVIA. He's pointed out to me that I've, as I said, made a few factual inaccuracies in, in some of my statements. The first one he said is, the rule first came into effect on the 1st of January 2008, not 2009 as I had stated. Very, very sorry, don't know why I'd said that, I knew it was 2008, but anyway, made a mistake. It's uh, the 1st of January 2008, not 2009. Um, his next comment was, the association is now the IMVIA, not the IMVDIA. Wow, you guys, really sorry about that. Didn't re how well I did realise it, just uh, stuck in my old ways, I guess. Name keeps changing. Um, the next comment he made was, the officials' trips to Japan were not to compare new with used vehicle admissions, but to learn about Japan's physical tailpipe testing at Shaken, which is Warren Fitness. Actually, David, um, I've called up the company that did the tests, and they confirmed for me that uh, the officials did actually in fact test older vehicles versus brand new 2007 vehicles and at the time the older vehicles were producing exactly the same amount of admissions in most cases as what the 2007 vehicles were except in a few cases where they actually outperformed the newer vehicles and produced less admissions. Really, I, I, I called them up and asked them. They spoke to me off the record but uh, they did confirm that for me. The next one he says is, it's admissions, not admissions. And the next one is it's, Performed, not preformed. Wow. I don't know how I made that mistake. It's probably my 18 years spent in Japan. My English is not so good anymore. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for pointing those out to me, David. Really, really appreciate it. All the other people, keep sending in those comments. Love to hear from you. Point out my mistakes, feel free. I know I'm not the best person to be doing this, but I'm the only person doing this. So I really appreciate your support. And just in case you don't know, I've just been able to confirm that Ian Plimmer, the uh, geology scientist in Australia, is going to do an interview for us. Now he's a very controversial uh, earth scientist, and what he says is that um, the global warming crisis that we've been told is not actually a crisis, we're in global cooling. Anyway, we're in about the 24th, 25th of July, so we'll be doing an interview on Ian Plimmer. Hopefully I'll be able to attach one of his uh, interviews down here somewhere if you guys follow and watch thank you very much for watching stay tuned got another interview from a guy in japan see what he has to say